Now we are on the kinematic section of the of the whole paper. An astronaut has weight 660 newton when she's standing on the Earth's surface. But then you go to Mars. Wait a second. Why are we on Mars? On Earth, we have a, a acceleration of 3.4, which is g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. But on Mars, they are g. M. It's 3.71 meters per second, so that's much lesser. But they ask you, what is the weight of the astronaut if she stood on the surface of Mars? There's a few ways to do this. I'll show you the longer one, but you can solve it. So you need to know that weight is mass times gravitational acceleration, also known as a constant. Lah. On Earth, it's a constant 9.81, but on another planet, it may be some other value, like what you see right there. So let's try for Earth. Can we find the mass of the girl or astronaut? Why oh, did I say girl? I assume the astronaut is a girl. So 660 equals to mass times 9.81. And yes, you can find the mass of this person, which is about 67.278 kg. I just added all the decimals in. And now you take this human to mass. What changes? The mass is still the same. So you can just say, oh, 67.278. What is G though? G is now 3.71. So that's different. So if you multiply these two together, you will get something very close to this answer. It's about 249.6. So 249.6 Newtons. And if you round it off, that's about 250 Newton. And that is the answer. Now another way, which is kind of a little bit shorter, is to use ratios. So let's put a dotted line. Method number two, you can use ratio. Because you know that weight is proportional to the gravitational acceleration. Mass is a constant, anyway. So this is a shortcut, by the way. So if you use this shortcut method, you know that this astronaut's mass is the same, which means the weight of this fella on Earth over the gravitational constant of Earth is the same as weight on mass and g of mass. Mars. What did I say? Mars. Mars. So you can put it all together and you say, oh, 660 over 9.81 equals to, I don't know, WM. I'm trying to find that. Divide by 3.71. Oh, that also works. This is another method you can do that using ratios. Okay? So make sure you know how to use both methods. It's just helpful for you to check answers. But that is all for this question. Any doubts, comment below. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Next video, next question.